Hello again painters, it's Debbie at acrylicboring.com and already you're probably thinking, oh my god, what has she done now? This video in fact follows on directly from the one that I posted yesterday. This, um, in the one yesterday I poured my first canvas and I was super excited. Um, I had some ideas and obviously they don't work out because they never do, but I ended up with all this leftover because I had far, far too much paint because I was over enthusiastic. Um, and so what I thought I'd do was try some dipping. I've had success with dipping in the past where I've used some photo paper. Um, so go back and take a look at some of those earlier videos if you'd be interested in how I dipped with photo paper. Today I've just got a couple of tiles and I thought I would throw it down on this surface, pull it back up and see what happens. In the past it's created some really pretty f cells and then I, you know if I don't like it I can always swipe it and if I don't like it well you know I'll put it to one side, wipe it off and use it for something else. So I thought I've got this lighter area here because what I did was I took my cups and my palette knife and I just scraped the paint out so I've got a lighter area here, darker area here so that nothing was wasted and now I'm going to just pop this tile right down in the paint on the surface and we'll see what we'll get. I actually like this light colour here, so I'm going to try and use some of that. I'll just put it in there, wiggle it about, lift it up. Whoop. Ooh, yeah, that is nice. Very nice. I've always had really nice effects with this. So now I've got a few areas that aren't covered, so I'm going to try and do it again. Of course, now it's not so easy. The photo paper um, was malleable. Whereas, of course, the tile isn't. The tile is very fixed. So if I get a little bit where there isn't any paint, I can't just dip that whole, the, um, that area. I need to dip the whole thing. And just pop down on that side. Okay. So there we go. There's my first dip. And I think it kind of looks interesting. I've got little lines coming across this way. I've got a sweeping area down here. And I think it looks really beautiful. Lots of little cells popping through. So I'm going to give it a blast with the torch. Let's see what happens to it. Not much. Um, I think what will happen is because the paint is down here on the surface, the silicone will automatically come up to the top anyway. So it'll probably be more on the surface of our paint rather than bubbling up through. And actually it's the kind of the, the swiping of the tile onto the paint and lifting it up, that action which creates the cells. So if you take a closer look, I think that looks pretty pretty. This is a keeper for me. So what I am going to do is just take some of the paint and fill in the edges because the paint wasn't thick enough that it would go all the way up through. It won't take me long because I've got a big patch of matching paint. I can just tap in these edges with my paintbrush here and then it will be done. Actually the paint is still quite thick on the board, on the, um, the work surface. So I've got quite a bit of coverage already and the paint that I pick up is nice and thick. So it's still got some design and pattern in it. So I'll probably shut off the camera because you're not interested in watching me um, fill in all these edges. And then when I've got this one finished and put aside to dry, I'll um, dip again and we'll see what we get a second time. Okay, so my first one is set aside. But I've still got some really pretty stuff here, so um, and I like the light colours, so I'm going to try and just sweep a little bit into this way and see if I can get a bit more of this light coloured stuff with a second tile. And if I kind of pat it along the surface, we'll see what effects I get. Not so nice on this one, I think the paint's getting a bit mixed. Okay, so I'm going to go back more into this central area. Dab it down into the paint. See what I get. Oh, that's nice too. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so it needs to go back down a little bit more on that side. It's hard because my fingers are in the way. There I go. That's good. And now let's do this side. There's a little bit to be covered. Whoa, I dropped the whole thing. Oh, wait. It'll work out. 
Now that's nice, that swirly bit. And I'm going to take a bit of my finger and dab in there rather than do it again. Okay, that's good. And I've got plenty of paint left on the sides here that I can just kind of dab it on. Nice. So it's a bit like a project I did once before with the dipping where I intended to have uh, one project and in fact I mixed up so much paint that I ended up I think with like four matching paintings in the end and uh, I'm probably going to do at least four with this one because I've got one big canvas and now I've got two nice six inch tiles. That one's a keeper too, that's also really nice. Let me just torch over it. Sorry, I've been kind of looking at what I've been doing and not really checking to see, see that you can see things in the camera. Let me give it a once over. Yeah, that's pretty. That's going to make a nice matching one with this other one. Let's put that there. I've still got oodles of paint left. I've got some smaller tiles, so I think I can easily make four matching small ones. So let's just dip them straight in there. I'm going to try and make sure it's all done in one go this time. Is it? Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, that is really gorgeous. You know, I always thought that swipes were my favorite technique, but now I'm wondering whether I should just um, throw a load of paint down on my work surface and then dip the canvases in them because I always get such pretty results. The kind of results that I just can't get any other way. Um, the way the paint swirls together, really beautiful when I do it this way. I might just be uh, a convert for dipping instead of swiping. Although, you know, every technique that you use gives, gives a different result, doesn't it? Let's pick up a little bit darker there for this section, that looks nice. Wow. Okay, it's another absolute beauty. Let me give it the once over with the torch just in case we create anything extra. Even if we don't, I think it's good practice to go over because, you know, if there's any air bubbles, because the paint's quite thick, then uh, we'll burst those bubbles. So there we go, that's the next one. Again, it's another beauty. Down it goes. I'll pop that over there. I'll show you all these at the end and see what they look like. Let's go for it again. So again, I've got this kind of lighter area. I'm liking the light stuff. I've still got loads to work with. So let's pop another in there.
So I've been uh, pleasantly surprised. I started out today with the intention of painting my first canvas and um, that didn't go exactly as planned because I picked, mixed up far too much paint. So although I intended to make like um, a light to medium to dark transition with it, um, I had too much paint and it that didn't work out. But what I did end up with was huge amounts of beautiful coasters and a chance to try the dip method again, which I haven't used for a little while. So I suggest, you know, um, do as I did. Uh, give it a try one day. And, you know, if you end up with a project where you've got far too much paint left over on your table, um, have a go with um, dipping. Oops, there we go. Use some photo paper like I have done in the past or get some little tiles or some little mini canvases or something like that. And I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. You can use up a lot of, whoops, what would otherwise be wasted paint and can make some great projects. I, you know, these will make great gifts. Um, I'll be able to give away, you know, several sets. I've made four large and nine small so far and I've still got plenty of paint. I think I can make up probably another three um, and then that'll give me loads of opportunity to, you know, give things away to people, which I really enjoy doing. So I'm just going to finish off with my last ones and then I'll come back and show you the um, all of them um, all together in a big group. So at last I think I'm done. I am the messiest I've ever been. My hands are covered in paint. My uh, surface is covered in paint. All of my tools are covered in paint. Everything is covered in paint. But seeing I started off with the idea of one canvas and I've now ended up with uh, one canvas plus six six inch tiles and two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, 11 four and a quarter inch tiles and a little mini. So let me take you around and show you all the details. So here we go. This was a pretty epic pouring and dipping session that I hadn't intended, but wow, it turned out so nice. Look at that one. Just really, really lovely. And of course, because they all came from the same paint, um, you know, the same patch, although each one is slightly different, they all match. So I think they'll make a, a nice set for me to give away. And of course they all match the larger painting too. So that's always nice. That's nice, the way the colors have all kind of mixed in together there. So some of these are lighter, some of them are darker, but all of them are equally beautiful, I think. And uh, I've got some more, there's a lighter one just there. And then, yeah, just look, lovely. Really, really lovely. Beautiful details in these. And uh, some larger ones here again, some light, some dark. So there we go. What an epic painting session that has been. It certainly kept me busy. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, everything's covered in paint, including my camera. So time for me to go and uh, wash up and then I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. Thanks for following along with all that. So here's just a selection of the tiles as they've dried and they really do look nice. You know, I think for just basically dipping in what's left over or spilled paint, dipping gives me such a great effect. I really love the results of this. So I ended up with six of the large six, six inch tiles and uh, eight, eight or nine, I think, of these smaller tiles. Now I haven't varnished any of them yet because I'm actually going to try an experiment I've decided. I've got my usual varnish, the polycrylic, and then I've also bought two different ones. This Sargent Art Gloss Acrylic Varnish and also Modge Podge Dishwasher Safe. So I'm um, recording another video straight after this one where I'm going to try out these three products um, on the other smaller tiles that I've done. However, um, the Mod Podge takes 28 days to cure. So I'm going to set all of these aside, just try out the results of this other experiment. And then once I've decided which is the best finish to use on tiles, then I can go ahead and do the lap. Until then, I'm going to put these to one side. So thank you very much for taking part in what's been an epic video. The uh, huge dipping experiment has been a whole load of fun and I've got some really great results. So check back and find out in about a month or so's time the results of this uh, varnish test.